My name is Christine Hawkins. I run a cancer research lab here at La Trobe University, focusing on trying to find more effective treatments for patients with bone cancer. I also teach undergraduates about cancer and about molecular genetics, and I'm the course coordinator for biomedicine. The Bachelor of Biomedicine course focuses on the structure and functions of the human body when healthy and when affected by disease. During your biomedicine degree, you'll study the chemical, molecular, cellular, and physiological processes and anatomical structures that enable our bodies to grow and function. You'll also examine the biological basis for numerous diseases, including infections, cancer, neurodegeneration, cardiovascular disease, and developmental disorders. And you'll explore preventative and therapeutic strategies targeting these conditions. The course will help you to refine your critical thinking and analytical skills, which will be essential for a career in any area related to biomedicine, but are also important attributes for other careers and for life in general. Biomedicine students acquire in-depth knowledge about diverse aspects of human biology and health through flexible teaching formats, including online materials that can be studied at home whenever suits each student. Our expert staff also provide in-person tuition in a variety of settings, including collaborative workshops, tutorials, and lectures. We're very proud of the hands-on laboratory experience offered within the biomedicine course. Our students participate in practical classes where they learn how to design and perform experiments using numerous sophisticated pieces of equipment, and they gain experience analyzing and interpreting experimental data. We offer students opportunities to hone these skills further by conducting authentic novel research projects within academic or industry research labs. La Trobe has a diverse range of academic research laboratories in which students can contribute to research aimed at improving human health. Some research laboratories are gaining knowledge of the basic biological processes that control health and disease. Others are using that information to develop cutting edge therapies for various diseases. For example, Professor Chris Scobie from the Department of Physiology, Anatomy and Microbiology is pursuing stem cell therapies to treat stroke. We have more than 80% of stroke patients that really have nothing. There's a great need for something to either uh, treat the injury or promote healing, and we think these cells do both. We've found that injection of these amnion epithelial cells into the blood uh, results in the cells traveling to the brain, they home in on sites of injury, and they reduce uh, the amount of inflammation and promote recovery. Even if it's too late to stop the inflammation, they seem to have a very strong uh, effect to improve long-term functional outcome. To be perhaps within reach of a, a real feasible uh, treatment that can be given to so many stroke patients is really very exciting. And some Latrobe researchers have commercialised their discoveries. Latrobe Professor Marilyn Anderson founded the company Hexima which is conducting clinical trials of an antifungal treatment that was developed at La Trobe. In this video, recorded by the Australian Academy of Science, Marilyn describes this work. A lot of people suffer from this. It's a global problem, and it's a huge market for the pharmaceutical industry. During sexual reproduction in plants, they never get fungal infections or bacterial infections, so we knew that the floral organs produce their own antibiotics to keep them safe during sex, if you like. So for toenails, it will be a formulation, a bit like a liquid that dries rapidly, that people put on after the shower. Professor Mick Foley is the Chief Scientific Officer of ADALTA. His research team at La Trobe have developed a novel class of molecular therapies, which they're currently using to target fibrosis-induced organ damage. Tuition and mentorship from Marilyn, Mick and their teams is particularly valuable for biomedicine students contemplating careers in biomedical industries. La Trobe has a close partnership with the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute, which is co-located with the Austin Hospital, close by our Bundura campus. Through this connection, La Trobe staff and students can benefit from the experience and knowledge of clinical experts, both during undergraduate lectures 
and also to extend their laboratory cancer research into a clinical setting. The partnership between La Trobe University um, and the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute uh, is incredibly valuable because it allows the discoveries and the, the wonderful people at La Trobe University to interface with people like us who are actually dealing with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. And by doing so, we're able to bring a bridge between the science and the discovery into the clinic and hopefully improved uh, treatments for patients with cancer. One example of this pathway is a collaboration between researchers in the Department of Biochemistry and Genetics and the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute staff. They're developing a therapy for cachexia, a severe side effect of cancer. Cachexia is the weight loss and muscle wasting disease that's often seen in many different types of cancer, and in particular in the later stages of cancer. Up to 80% of cancer patients will suffer from some form of cachexia, and it's been estimated that 30% of cancer deaths are attributed to the presence of cachexia. The symptoms of cachexia include weight loss, muscle wasting, the loss of adipose tissue, and decreased strength. So we discovered that a molecule called FN14, when expressed on the surface of cancer cells, actually causes cachexia. And this is the first time this has ever been uh, reported. We were then able to generate an antibody therapy that's able to block FN14, and we showed that it's able to then block cachexia. Our findings have been based in the laboratory setting, so the first thing we need to do is translate these findings to humans. And we're currently doing this with our colleagues at the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute. And then the next step once this is complete would be to initiate clinical trials. If you've decided you'd like to study at Biomedicine at La Trobe, you can either apply via VTAC if you're a Victorian Year 12 student, or the University's Admission Centre if you did Year 12 in New South Wales. If you finished Year 12 previously, didn't complete Year 12, or have done some tertiary study already, you can apply direct to La Trobe. We're currently reviewing the prerequisites for this degree for 2021 entry, and that information will be provided on this website this August. The skills and knowledge you'll develop throughout this course will equip you to undertake numerous diverse career options. Many of our graduates pursue clinical or allied health careers via postgraduate study in areas including medicine, physiotherapy, or dentistry. Others are passionate about furthering our understanding of biology and medicine and become biomedical researchers. Some students develop interest in health policy and take jobs in government departments or agencies. Some of our recent graduates are now designing and managing clinical trials for new therapies, working as technical or sales representatives for drug firms, or working in the biotech industry developing new drugs. Here are some examples of the career pathways our graduates have taken. Melissa is one of our 2019 graduates who's now doing postgraduate medicine. This is probably the most popular next step for our graduates. Others, like Tiffany, undertake allied health degrees and then obtain jobs after that, such as becoming a physiotherapist or, in Tiffany's case, an audiologist. Some biomed graduates, like Tom and Tanya, apply their biomedical knowledge in jobs in biotech or pharmaceutical companies. Many of our graduates pursue research careers via honours and PhDs, either at La Trobe, elsewhere in Australia, or abroad, as Charlotte has done. This qualification and experience can enable our graduates to secure senior positions in health-related organisations, as Cathy and Stephanie have done, or to direct a research program, like Michael is now doing at Monash. I hope you found this presentation useful, and I look forward to seeing you some, some of you here in our biomedicine classes next year.